Prospis by Robert Browning. Actually, it is a Latin term and in Latin you pronounce it as prospice. Prospice or prospis means to look ahead or to look forward to. Here the poet looks forward to death and meeting his wife after death. Very easy. Published in the year 1864 in Dramatis Personae, Prospis was written by Robert Browning, a very eminent Victorian poet and playwright. He lived from 1812 to 1889. The major theme of Prospis is death and life after death. Genre, the master of dramatic monologue is Robert Browning. So this poem is also written as a dramatic monologue. Before we begin this poem, you should know a little bit about the background, why Robert Browning talks about death. He and his wife were in a very cordial relationship. Browning's wife was Elizabeth Barrett, but she passed away. And after she passed away, Robert Browning was in deep mourning. He wrote this poem, hoping to meet Elizabeth Barrett after he also dies. And therefore he says, or he says that I will face death and after facing death, I will meet you, my darling, my dear wife. Okay, form and structure. This poem has seven stanzas of four lines each. That is, there will be quatrains. How many quatrains? Seven. And uh, total 28 lines are there in this poem. Rhyme scheme is super easy. It is A, B, A, B. I'll tell you how this poem will flow. First of all, Browning will ask, here the speaker is poet himself, that is Robert Browning himself. He will ask that does he face death? He will talk about the form of death. He will be afraid of death. But then he'll say that I will face death. Why? Because I know that after death, I will be rewarded. What reward? I will meet my wife in the afterlife. And then we will be with God forever. Our souls will be together. I told you the poem in a crux and now we're in a very good position to begin. Before I begin, I have to tell you, have you subscribed to our channel yet? You listen to so many summaries by me. You listen to so many lectures of Kalyani ma'am. So I request you please subscribe to our channel Walad by Dr. Kalyani Walad and like our videos, share them with your friends and relatives. It will be of great help if they are also trying to crack an English paper. Yes, I will read the stanza and then I will explain you. On one page, there are two stanzas, each stanza four lines, right? So let's start with the text of the poem first. What does poet say? Fear death, to feel the fog in my throat, the mist in my face, when the snows begin and the blasts denote, I am nearing the place. It's a metaphorical poem, you must understand before I begin. A lot of metaphors will be used, comparisons will be there. So Robert says, do I fear death? He says, just like a mountain climber who climbs up with great difficulty, you know, mountaineering is difficult. You feel lack of oxygen as you move up. Similarly, Robert says, I feel difficulty in breathing when I face death. There will be pain on my face. And when the snow will be in sight, I will know that the summit is near. Here, summit denotes death. So as I move towards death, I know that death will also come near me. Easy? Second stanza, the text. The power of the night, the press of the storm, the post of the foe where he stands, the arch fear in a visible form, yet the strong man must go. Robert continues that in the darkness of the night, amidst the powerful storm, stands death. Death is like a person. So in the darkness of the night, it's a stormy night and death faces Robert. Death and Robert face each other. He says we face each other. And yes, his arch fear in a visible form, which means his form is definitely fearful. Yet the strong man must go. Nonetheless, I am strong and I must face death. I must go. He's depressed. Please take it like this. When you lose somebody, in fact, in this materialistic world, when we lose a thing, we feel sadness. Imagine losing a person and Robert just lost his wife. Next stanza. For the journey is done and the summit attained and the barriers fall. 
Though a battle's to fight ere the guerdon be gained, the reward of it all. Robert says, overcoming all the obstacles, I am done with the journey and I have come to the summit, which means I have come to the end of my life. Still, there is one battle to be fought. He's still living. Please understand, Robert is still alive. He is near death, but he's not dead yet. So he says, before I meet death, there has to be one battle. This battle will be between me and death. Why the battle? Because after this battle is won, the poet will receive his award. What award? Meeting Elizabeth, his lost wife, his gone wife in afterlife. I somehow feel that this poem uh, hints towards taking his own life. What do you think? Does Robert feel that he wants to take his own life? Not naturally, deliberately. What do you think? Okay, next stanza. I was ever a fighter, so one fight more, the best and the last. I would hate that death bandaged my eyes and forbore and bade me creep past. He says, I was a fighter and I'm still a fighter. But before meeting death, I want to fight my best and last battle because I will hate that death will come to me naturally or death will bandage my eyes or it will just past, you know, it will just creep by and it will just take me. That is not what I want. I want to fight with death like a soldier, like a power, like a, uh, like a fighter. I don't want to be a coward in front of death. Does it hint at taking his own life? You tell me what you think in the comments below. Next stanza. No, let me taste the whole of it. Fair like my peers, the heroes of old, bear the brunt. In a minute, pay glad life's arrears of pain, darkness, and cold. Robert says, I don't want to be unconscious when death arrives. You know, he says, I don't want to be bandaged by death. Here he says, I want to taste the whole of it. I don't want to be unconscious. I want to be rational. I want to be in my senses when death comes to me. Rather, I want to taste the whole of it. I will fight it like the old brave heroes fought in battle. I want to suffer. And then he's bear the brunt means to suffer. And then he says, I want to pay or I want to compensate for all the happiness I had with my life. How will he pay? By feeling the pain, the darkness and the cold. Next stanza. For sudden the worst turns the best to the brave, the black minutes at end and the elements rage, the fiend voices that rave shall dwindle, shall blend. Robert says, I am bold. And because I am brave and bold, I will be rewarded for my bravery. Look, the worst turns the best to the brave. So I am brave, so the worst will be for my best. That is, this life will take me to death which will be for my best. And then he says, I am nearing death. That is black minute. Black minute, again, metaphorical, it's death. And soon all these voices of the enemy, death is the enemy. Soon the voices of the enemy, the anger, the rage, everything will fade. Everything will blend. Why? Because he will die. Listen to the last stanza, the seventh one, you will understand. Shall change, shall become first a peace out of pain, then a light, then thy breast. O oh, thou soul of my soul, I shall clasp thee again and with God be the rest. He says, after I will face death, after I will defeat death and I will come to you. I'm telling you, he is thinking of taking his life. So he says, after fighting with death, after uh, being a, a conqueror, I will finally come to you because you are dead. I will also be dead. I will come to you. There I shall see light. And from the light, you will erupt. Thy breast means thy form. You will erupt, Elizabeth. 
Oh, thou soul of my soul, which means our soul shall be one and I shall clasp thee again. Here clasp literally means I shall hug you again, a soul hugging another soul. And then with God be the rest. We shall be with God forever and ever and ever. Amen. It is an emotional poem. And in fact, I feel that may God show mercy to all of us and not take our near and dear ones very far away. Yes, please pray. Please be optimistic that the relationships that you value stay with you. And you can take it this way also, that carpe diem, give the best of yourselves to the ones you love, your family, your friends. Just be the best of yourself. Yes. And life will be good. This is Hina from Team Wallet, and this was Prospice or Prospice. Take care of yourself, your relationships, your relationship with yourself also. Love yourself and comment down if you liked our video. Bye bye.